Hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, okay. That's better. It's better. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi, family, friends, strangers, and enemies. I'm Johan Wallström. Welcome to It's Boring to Die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> enemies hidden among you. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How did that come to you? It's boring to die. You know, it's been growing inside me for several years, and then 2011 I decided to paint about it because I felt that, including myself, uh, I was complaining too much about small things and big things. And then when you read in the newspaper, you have the politicians complaining about this and that, or, or a very wealthy person who just lost $10 million on the stock exchange market, but still have, have another billion dollars complaining. It's simply very simple. I, you need to, I need to enjoy my life now, because I don't find it amusing to die. I find it very boring. Who are the faces that you're painting? They are people that I have met, or I believe I will meet, or people I see out on the city. Uh, you know, what I see on the news, uh, and of course about a bit of my imagination as well. What's most important to you about what you capture in those faces? I'm trying to capture expressions, feelings that I believe that most of us either have had have or will have and I try to do it in a very very small means I'm not using a lot of colors I'm not using a lot of textures just trying to do it with small means and at the same time have a strong expression I'm not a painter that would plan an actual picture I don't make a drawing first mm. you know I don't work particularly a lot on the background I, I, I need to paint it like now so many times when I look at a painting that I did maybe three months ago or six months ago, one month ago or one year ago, I find new faces, I find new expressions, I find uh, new feelings that I didn't even realize was there when I originally did it. When I'm to start a new painting, uh, I have uh, in my studio tons of papers with uh, titles written down which all belong in the theme is boring to die. And then I put myself into that mood. So I'm completely focused into the title, what it means to me. And then I turn on really loud, usually rock and roll music. And then I cut out the outside word from myself. I'm, I don't want to be disturbed at all. And then, then I'm just in the painting. And I never use... Uh, and it stands or easels, easel, uh, easel stands to paint on. They are either just lean towards the wall or, and a lot of times on the on the floor. I usually lay down or I sit or I stand on my knees when I paint. And and if it's a larger painting, I use the leather. I want to be inside the painting when I paint. Are the brushes you use are they like long brushes or paint or house painting brushes or what are they? combination of both. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Sometimes the hand as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Do that again. I paint with my hands. <laughs> what do you mean by you paint war to have peace? Uh, to me, it's about... When I paint, for example, a painting about war, that is, I have peace. And with war, I don't necessarily mean a war in between two countries. Could well as, as well be a war inside a family. Actually, I'm surprised there's not more wars in between countries, being the fact that there is a constant battle in almost every family on this planet, every day, more or less. So I'm pretty surprised we're not killing each other more in, in between two countries. I always have this feeling that, this idea that when I have a bad day for whatever reason, I have to think about that there's always someone else out there having a worse day than I. I mean, if I'm fighting a war with a friend over a whatever, 
he owes me a bit of money, right? I owe him a bit of money, you know? And he said, oh, yo, yo, you motherfucker. Sorry, not supposed to say that, but, you know, give me my money, whatever. And, okay, I, maybe I feel a bit shitty. But at the same token, the same time I feel shitty, there is someone in Afghanistan getting killed. It's a lot worse situation than having a, a bit of arguing with your friend or with your wife or girlfriend, whatever. And that goes for all of it. I mean, the day you have a bad uh, throat and you have the flu and you have like fever and you feel like, Ugh. okay, maybe your neighbor just received the message, sorry, you got cancer. It's always someone else having a worse day than I. That's how I see it. That moment where you realized it would might be a series of paintings, or well, it's sort of actually when I did the very first one, is Born to Die, who currently is in uh, your gallery in the Van der Plaus Gallery. I realized that moment that this is it. Life is so precious and so important to take care of. I mean, in small details and, and also in the large details. And for me to paint in this, under this theme, and it's, it's, a, it's like an ongoing journey where I'm exploring more and more, the more I paint, and I feel like it's never going to stop. Now, is there anything particularly Swedish about your work? Or? No. <laughs> Not at all. What do you like about your country? What I really like about my country of origin, Sweden, is the summer, due to the fact that there's so much daylight, almost all night long it's daylight. It's almost 24 hours a day, for the most part of the country. Um, Sweden has, in my opinion, really good food. And uh, then I love that Swedish people usually are very efficient, effective, most of the time quite honest. And uh, I like the fact that we have a good education system in Sweden. It's free for everybody to go all the way through university. You don't have to pay one dime for your education. Um, we have good healthcare system most of the time. It's also free. And uh, what I don't like, of course, is the darkness in the winter. And um, what makes me Probably what makes me very Swedish that I am very efficient myself. Uh, and another thing is that I, I use snooze, tobacco on your lip. Very Swedish. Not healthy, but I like it. And finally, I got blue eyes. And a Swedish accent. And of course, a Swedish accent. Thank you very much, all of you that came to the show tonight. I hope you had a good time and enjoy the show, enjoy the company. And I'm looking forward to see you in real life at another show, maybe in New York or elsewhere in the near future. All the best, Joan.